Okay, so now we come to installing Lightning Terminal, or otherwise known as Lit. Um, this is a uh, an all-in-one package that allows you to install Lightning Loop. Um, it also allows you to install um, uh, the pool, uh, where you can uh, grab or purchase inbound liquidity. Um, and so, yeah, it'll give you a nice dashboard interface like this as well. Um, you can integrate this with your RTL and we'll also do bolts um, exchange, which we will um, do at the talk towards the end of the video. But let's let's start off with lit and then we'll move on to the bolts stuff as well. OK, so let's download the um, binaries from the, the releases page. OK, we want AMD 64. Uh, copy link. We will CD over to the downloads folder. W get that, um, and we will tar XVF lighting terminal. And so you should see a new folder called lighting terminal. We'll CD into that. And what we're going to do is put all of these into um, USR bin. So what we'll do is we'll copy all of this to uh, USR bin, or rather local bin, and we will uh, put a sudo in front of that. Um, where is lit D? You'll see that it's in there, okay? Um, now to open this up, let's just go back to the uh, repository. We need a UI password. Um, that's something that you'll not need to change. Um, and the other thing, um, let, let's give that a shot though. So we'll put this as something secure. So let's uh, lit d dash dash UI password equals, um, you know, something secure. Uh, we'll just do go with password one, two, three. Just going back here, we'll also add dash dash HTTPS listen equals 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 colon 8443. And now let's take a look. And we'll type in HTTPS colon slash slash advanced, accept the risk and continue. And now you have the lightning terminal. So password one, two, three, which was the password that I said. And then now we've got, um, yes, let's go. So if you want to take a tour of it, um, it'll tell you what, you know, all of this stuff is. This is just an example um, that you can get out of that. So this will be um, your lightning uh, loop. And then you've got uh, the lightning pool, which is, um, you know, how you can uh, acquire uh, liquidity and buy it and purchase it if you, if you need it. Um, and then you've got the loop. So this is how you can um, balance your channels. Um, so that's that's something that's a tool that you can utilize um, to, to, to get uh, loop in and loop out of channels and bring them back on chain without having to close your channels down. Okay, so from here, I'm going to create a service file. Um, sudo nano system etc systemd system and we're going to call it litd.service. And I'm going to paste that through. Um, now, I'm going to make, um, so USR local bin, which is where it is, uh, the UI password, password123, and HTTPS listen uh, on that port. The user is Satoshi. Um, yeah, so we'll go control X, Y, and enter. Um, sudo systemctl um, start, oh, sorry, enable litd.service. And we will, um, so at the moment, if you go to your terminal, it's it's not, uh, sorry, if you go to Lightning Terminal, it's not there. Um, so we'll enable it, and then we need to start it. And hopefully, you'll see it back up again. There it is there, okay? So um, here you can sort of open up an account. Um, yeah, and you can also um, uh, get into the loop side of things as well. Here, um, now what we can do is, I guess, uh, hook up our um, lit uh, to 
our RTL as well. So um, go to RTL and nano the RTL conf dash Oop. nano RTL config and we'll scroll down a little bit. Um, so the swap macaroon path will be, um, if you look here, there is a dot loop. Um, so we'll do uh, cd dot loop and we're going to put that directory into mainnet there. So this one is home slash satoshi slash um, dot loop slash mainnet change the swap server to three four four three i believe okay and control x y and enter now let's sudo systemctl restart rtl and let's go into my rtl Uh, and we'll go into services and loop and you should start to see um, loop in, loop out. Now, Bolt Exchange, um, let's take a look at that. So, we'll open up a new terminal here, Bolt Exchange. It's this GitHub repository here, I believe. Um, we'll go to the releases section. And we'll grab the AMD 64 zip, copy, go to our downloads folder, and um, wget and that zip file. Unzip that. So let's um, copy it. Um, and bolts D, and we want to copy it to USR local bin, and we'll sudo that. Then what we'll do is we'll chmod it, so chmod um, plus x bolts cli and bolts D, and we'll put a sudo in front of it, and we'll have a look at this, and so now, um, what we'll do is we will um, try bolts D. What we're going to do um, is we're going to uh, create a TOML file. So let's take a look at this. And we will create a bolts.toml. So nano bolts.toml macaroon equals that. And certificate equals home satoshi dot lnd tls dot cert like so bolts d the two ports that are open is nine triple zero two and three so let's go back to our rtl um, and just check and that's fine there and the macaroon path home satoshi um, I think it's bolts dash lnd and we may just close that out for now and see. So we've got macaroons. Yep. And so we will just put that as macaroons. Control save, Y and enter. And we will um, go to the... And type in bolts D. So that's started now. Um, uh, sudo systemctl restart rtl and let's check 
RTL. We'll go to services, we'll go to bolts, and you'll see that that now works. Okay, so it's now connected through. The only thing that we need to do is um, create a, uh, a service file for bolts, sudo nano etc systemd system, and we'll do bolts d.service. Um, and let's just use the lit um, as a template. So paste. Um, so this will be bolts and we'll do it after LND starts up and this is going to be bolts D and we don't need anything there and that looks good. So control X, Y and enter. Um, so now if I start to go to bolts again, it should say failed, which it does. Um, and then we'll go sudo systemctl uh, enable bolts service and we will start bolts service. And so now when I go to loop, when I go to um, bolts, uh, yeah, should hopefully connect to the server. Um, so just go to uh, services bolts and you can see here. So what Bolts does, it allows you to swap your um, Lightning funds to on-chain, um, and that'll come at a fee. Um, so yeah, that's now integrated into your RTL. Um, basically, it's the web version of that is Bolts.exchange, I believe. And so what happens here is you send Lightning funds to um, them, they will send it back to you on-chain. So that's how Bolts works. So that's pretty much LND wrapping up, um, controlled through RTL with all the peripheral services um, that are available on RTL as well. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com and click on the support button. I accept Bitcoin, Lightning, PayPal, and credit card. If you want one-on-one -on -one consulting, head on over to the consulting page and book in into my calendar widget. I can help you with holding your own keys, running your own node, and privacy best practices. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.